hi youtube it is cameron welcome to or back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet the vera top that's what i'm choosing to call it, it guys i'm back i'm back on youtube thank goodness i had a little setback and i'm still having a little setback but honestly i'm just deciding to move forward you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into detail on like what happened and why like I stopped posting on YouTube in my next video, which will be my Q and A. Hopefully, that's my next video. It might not be. We'll see. But yeah, in my Q and A video, watch out for that because I will tell you guys like what went like what happened and why I stopped posting on here. But I am back. I'm gonna try to post videos every weekend for you guys and for me and for us because we're besties. That's anyways. <laughs> I digress. But we're gonna be making the Vera top today. It's really easy, really fun, really cute. Yeah, let's get into the video. Starting with materials, you'll need some yarn. I'm using I Love This yarn from Hobby Lobby and it is in color Brush Stroke Breeze. And it is five ounces, 142 grams, 252 yards, and 230 meters. Then you'll need scissors, a crochet hook. I'm using a 4.25 crochet hook, some stitch markers, and a darning needle. So to start off this top, you're gonna to wanna to, uh, chain your bust size, half of your bust size. So it should go from shoulder blade to shoulder blade, just basically how, how much you want the top to wrap around you. I'm gonna chain however much that is for me and I'll tell you guys what that is for me. So I chained 70, 70 was enough to wrap around half of my bust. And now I'm going to chain one more and then I'm gonna wrap around my hook we're gonna work a half double crochet so skip the chain we just made and a half double crochet is where you pull up a loop and pull through all three loops and I'm gonna work half double crochets all the way down the chain so I'm coming to an end here and once we make it to the end you're gonna chain two turn your work and go right back on that foundation half double crochet with more half double crochets and basically what we're going to be doing is working half double crochets until the top is long enough to uh, fit our chest just going to work back and forth with half double crochets chaining two at the end until this little rectangle can cover my boobs okay guys i realized that the um shot was kind of bad so i just I uh, made a little setup. It's um, it's it, it works. But half double crochet is wrap around, go into your loop, pull up a loop, pull through three. Oh sorry, I'm just working all my half doubles until it fits my chest. Okay, so I just finished all my rows, and this is about how long I ended up doing mine. Um. Now we're gonna start working on the bottom mesh and we're gonna start by chaining three. Turn our work. And then we're going to do a double crochet but we're gonna skip the first stitch and skip the second stitch and go right into that third stitch with the double. And then we're gonna chain one. And then instead of skipping two, we're only gonna skip one stitch. So double crochet into the next, next stitch. like so chain one and keep doing that so skip one go into the next chain one skip one go into the next and we're going to work this all the way down till the end of our row and if you end up uh with two gaps left then just skip the two gaps and it should still work out fine okay this is what i meant um i said if you have two stitches i meant three but I have three stitches left, and as you can see, if I went into this one, that one would be bare. So I'm just gonna skip two and then work into the third. And then at the beginning of each row, you're gonna chain three, turn your row, turn your work, and then we're gonna be working in between these gaps. So we're gonna do a double crochet into the gap, chain one, double crochet into the gap, chain one, and just keep working that all the way down. And this is going to determine how long your top is. So however long you want your mesh to be is how many rows you'll work. I work nine and it gives me like a perfect little cropped above the belly button look. But you can just do however many you want. If you want 
more crops, do less rows. If you want less crops, do more rows. And yeah, that's all you have to do. Okay, I just finished all my rows and this is what it's looking like. And we've just made the ivy top. So you can stop here if you want your top to look like this. But if I continue, the next thing that we're gonna do is continue where we left off. But instead of chain three, we're gonna chain one, turn our work. And we're just gonna work single crochets all the way down uh, the this row. So um, now going into the gap, we're gonna go into the first double crochet of the round, single crochet, and then single crochet in the gap. So basically we're just gonna be going in the double crochet and then in the chain all the way down. So in the double crochet and the chain. And this just makes it so that the top is like a lot cleaner and sturdier and it just looks more put together, more professional. Like more like you bought it, you know? So I'm just gonna continue doing this all the way down my row. Okay, I'm coming to the end. And then once I make it all the way down, I'm going to, I'm going to chain one and just keep going. So I'm gonna go into this gap and then into the chain. So basically doing the same thing but kind of like guesstimating. You can put two single crochets in each gap if that's easier for you. I just kind of go wherever, but I still make sure I'm doing no more than two per gap. All right, coming towards the end, I'm gonna start counting when I get to my half double crochets. So I'm just gonna work single crochets up this edge of our half double crochets. And it's not gonna be perfect. You just kinda put your hook wherever you can. There's no exact science to it. But make sure you keep count of however many you do because you have to do the same thing on this side in order to make your top even. So I'm gonna count. and 14 so I did 14 for mine and now we're gonna work down it and we're gonna be making our holes so chain one turn your work work a single crochet into that first stitch and then it depends on how um, big your boob part is your chest part is so uh, for me since mine is small I think I'm just gonna make two gaps but if you have um, bigger than me, you can make three. If it's bigger than that, four or five, however many you think you need. But I'm gonna make two. And so to do that, I'm gonna make another single crochet, chain three. So the gaps are literally just chaining three, skipping three. So I chain my three and I'm gonna skip three. One, two, three, work into the fourth. And then I'm gonna fit couple single crochets so I'm gonna do two three four and I'm gonna chain three again skip three work some single crochet work single crochets the rest of the way down and there we go I made my two holes I probably should have made three, but I think it'll be fine. And then once you make however many holes you want to make, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and then work single crochets over top that. So once you get to the gap, you're going to put however many you changed for however many you chained, which for me was three, so I'm going to work three single crochets in the gap. chain one and you can cut your work I leave a little bit of a tail for weaving in so you just have gondol and pull through pull it tight we're finished 
with this side. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna connect my yarn at the bottom corner of the top so then I can work my way up. So I'm just gonna connect with the double knot. Or no, I'm just gonna connect uh, with the single crochet. But you can connect however, whatever method you find easiest. This is how I connect. I just pull my yarn through and I just work over the tail. So I'm gonna chain one and then do my single crochets up the top. Basically repeating everything we just did. And now I'm gonna work my 14 single crochets across the side of the top. And I'm just gonna copy everything I did on this side. So I did two single crochets. Then I chain three, skip three, go into the fourth, then three single crochets again. So in total it's four, chain three, skip three, go to fourth, and then single crochet first the way down. Chain one, turn my work, work single crochets up that row. Now I'm gonna chain one, need a little bit of a tail, pull it through, and there we go. So now we're done with the base of the top. It's gonna get fun now. Now I'm going to chain 80, and this is for um, the strap that goes in the back of the top like at the bottom that makes it circular. So I'm gonna chain 80. All right, now I'm gonna cut that, pull it through. And then this goes at the back of the top, at the very bottom, the very bottom holes, to kind of pull the top together. And you would like put it on and then tie it and make a bow. And then like whenever you tie this part together, it creates like a little circle, which I love. And now we're gonna work on scrunching the front of the top. So to do that, you're gonna fold your top in half to find the middle. So this right here is the middle. I'm gonna mark that stitch with a stitch marker. Like so. And then, Take your yarn, then go into that stitch. So I guess you didn't really need a stitch marker. That was kind of extra. Thank you guys. Forgive me. But pull your yarn through there, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail for leading in, and just tie it in a double knot. Then I'm gonna turn the top backwards. I'm gonna cut this yarn, leaving a tail, so that I can scrunch it. Put my darning needle in there. And then what we're gonna do is basically make little folds. And this is gonna determine the scrunch. I like a small scrunch. I don't want it to be too scrunched. So I just turn it around and look at it and make sure I like it, which I do. So once you get your amount of scrunchage that you want, you're going to basically stick your hook through the scrunch like that. And then pull it through, nice and tight. Get your other tail and then tie it in a double knot. Then you can flip it and kind of look at it, make sure you like it. I think I'm gonna do another scrunch like this. So if you wanna do another scrunch, just repeat the process. I'm gonna do this. Look at it. There we go. That's the amount of scrunchage I want. Now that we have that, this is a little update of what we're looking like. This is cute as is. Look, it's adorable. But now we're going to uh, make the little bow that goes 
top. So what I do is just take a long piece of yarn, take like this much, and then I insert it where I want it. I want my bow to be like right in the middle. So I'm gonna do it like, I'm gonna do it like right here. Pull that yarn through. And then just tie it in a little bow. And then you can just cut your strings however long you want. So pretty. Okay, now we're gonna work on our sleeves. And the beautiful thing about the sleeves for this top is you can make them long sleeve or short sleeve, which is so cool to me. So here's my top. It goes like this, and basically, I'm just gonna center it on myself. I'm just gonna find where I want my shoulder to start. So I'm gonna do it right about here. So I'll take that and I'll mark it with a stitch marker. And then to find, to get the same stitch on each side, just fold your top in half and match it up. Sleeves basically go like this. So they start off small and then they increase. So just keep that in mind when you're figuring out your sleevage. Um, you also wanna stitch where you want your sleeves to stop. So get two more stitch markers. So I'm gonna insert where I want my, where my armpit is basically. So right here, I'm gonna put a stitch marker. This is how big our sleeve is gonna be to start. Yeah, I think that's good. And then I'm just gonna fold it and do that on the other side, like this. Back to the tutorial. The setup is moving. So now that we have our stitch markers, we're gonna connect your yarn to one of the stitch markers. And I'm gonna connect with a single crochet. Chain one. All right. So now you're gonna make single crochets until you reach this other stitch marker. So I'm just working on the chain and try to keep it an even number. So my number was eight, which is perfect. All right, so I did my eight single crochets. Uh, for the black top that I made, I did six single crochets. So I did change it up a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't make, I don't think it'll make much of a difference, but yeah, I did do six double crochet, I mean six single crochets for this black top. That's why I posted on TikTok. So keep that in mind. Okay, once you do your single crochets, you're gonna chain three. Turn your work. And then you're gonna skip this first double crochet, work it to the second with the double. Chain one, skip one, work into the next. Chain one, skip one, work into the next. Chain one, skip one, work into the next. Until you're all the way down your rows. Then you're gonna chain three, and then we're gonna work an increase. So to work an increase, you're going to work a double crochet into the gap, chain one, but instead of going to the next gap, you're gonna go right back into that gap, and then chain one, go into the next gap. Chain one, go into the next gap. Chain one, and do an increase again. So I'm gonna do a double crochet into the gap, chaining one, and doing another double crochet into the gap. And basically you're gonna keep working increases until you get the width of however long or however wide you want your straps to be. But really how long you're gonna go is until you reach the top of your shoulder. And you're just gonna keep going until it reaches that length because that means you're halfway there and then we'll have to start decreasing. So I'm gonna keep doing increase rows until I reach however long I need it to be. And yeah, so increase at the beginning, increase at the end and just keep doing that until it's long enough to reach the middle of your shoulder. And I'll be back once I get there. I did five increase rows. Um, and I'll show you guys where it reaches on my shoulder. Get mad at me. I know I said till it reaches the, the middle of your shoulder, but I meant the top. So I'm definitely gonna put like a text on the video to tell you guys that. But look, this is where we are. So it's basically going to reach like the top of your shoulder. So like right there, 
like right there, you know? Cause I was saying right here, I meant like right where your shoulder is about to start curving. And that's where we're going to stop our increases. And then we're gonna work a couple rows of the mesh stitch with no increases. So that gives you enough space to wrap around your shoulder. And then we're gonna start decreasing. So it's like that. So then your arm will have a little much, a little bit of space to breathe. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> that's on me. But yeah, basically just keep going until you reach the top of your shoulder, not the middle, the top. Like right, right where your shoulder is about to start bending. Okay, now I'm gonna do a couple rows of no increases and I'm gonna do three rows of no increases, just this amount of stitches that I have. But do however many you need to be able to wrap around your shoulder and kind of like basically meet right here, but on the other side of your shoulder, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna chain three and then work a double crochet, chain one, and I'm not increasing anymore, so I'm just gonna go into the next stitch. And I will definitely I will definitely show you guys for reference how much uh, like where it stops on my shoulder after these three rows because it's kind of hard to explain with words. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep working these double crochets for three rows total. And then we're gonna start decreasing until we get back to our original amount of gaps, which for me is four. And here's my little update. I finished my three rows of just straight double crochets. And this is where I am. So it's like this, and then it's enough to wrap. Oh no, sorry guys. So you're gonna hold it and it should be enough to wrap around to like the top of your shoulder and keep in mind that it does stretch so don't make it too big the problem i made with this black top was i made it a little bit too big because i thought that i forgot like it stretches quite a bit so yeah this is where i'm at right now with the top and now we're gonna start working decreases so to work your decreases you're it's the same as it as increases just decreases so chain three turn your work and then i'm going to skip this gap work into the next gap chain one and then go regular double crochets in each gap okay so i have two gaps left i'm going to skip this second to last gap and go right into the last gap then i'm going to chain three and do that again and i'm going to keep working decrease decrease rows until I reach the same amount of gaps I had in my first row. So I have my four stitches left and here's how my sleeve is looking. This is gonna complete my sleeve, but um, you might need a sleeve a bit bigger or a bit smaller than me. So I'm gonna show you guys what to do if you did accidentally make your sleeve a little bit tight, which basically you're about to find out if you did or not because we're gonna connect it to the back of the top. But uh, what we're gonna do is connect the sleeve at the very end of the top. If you have skinnier arms than me, then um, you can connect it like somewhere closer to the edge. But since like my arms, this is about the width of my arms, like this would be the width of my arms. So you're just gonna, basically you can hold it against yourself and put the sleeve behind you and then connect it wherever it feels most comfortable. For me, that's gonna be at the very end and um, you can like put stitch markers to hold it in place to see how it feels and if this area right here feels too tight for you then uh you you could you should have added like more rows here with the no deep with the no increases but like that's okay you don't like it's not the the world if you didn't all you have to do is just add more uh regular rows down here so i'll just keep adding rows of four until my arm fits comfortably in the hole if that makes sense but this fits me fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my top to the wrong side. So the side where it's all bunched up, I'm gonna take the sleeve of my top. Oh, hold, go ahead and um, chain one and cut off your yarn. Leave a long tail for uh, sewing the sleeve into the back of the top. We're gonna be connecting it like this, but you have to connect it uh, like on this side so that you don't see the connecting bits so i'm on the wrong side of the top right fold this 
this way, hold this here. And you can connect it with stitch markers if you want to keep it in place, but I'm too lazy for that. So I'm gonna hold, I like this is, okay, so we're holding it like this. Now pay attention, we're gonna flip it inside out. And this is where we're going to stitch our sleeve with our top. My yarn, put it in my darning needle, and then I'm just gonna go in stitches. And I'm just connecting it as even as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I've connected it all. So now I'm gonna go one more stitch in, but I'm not gonna pull it all the way through. I'm just gonna pull it enough to where my tail comes out and I still have a loop here. I'm gonna go through the loop once and then through the loop again. And then you can just pull tight. And that'll create a knot. And then you should be able to flip your sleeve over and it should be pretty seamless on this side and then this is where we stitched it so there we go there's our armhole and then we're going to repeat this entire process over on this side okay so this is what our sleeves look like right now you can keep them like this but i'm going to add to like here so like these sleeves i added a couple of rows as you can see, like this is where it stopped and then I added these rows. This is optional, but I like to do it because I feel like it makes it look, I don't know, cuter, fuller. I don't know, I just like the way it looks with the sleeves. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So you're gonna take your top, take some yarn. You're gonna connect your yarn. I like to connect mine at the back armpit because that's, you can't really see it. And then I connect with the double knot. And basically you're gonna pull up a loop chain two and work your mesh stitch so i'm going to skip this chain work into this chain chain one skip this chain work into this chain chain one and just keep doing that and then for these i'm going to work i'm going to work in the middle of the gaps chain one work in the gap okay so i'm back i'm gonna work one more just to kind of open up the armpit a little bit for comfort but i'm back at the end and i'm going to count three chains up one two three and that's the chain i'm going to connect to with the slip stitch and then i'm gonna chain three turn my work and i'm gonna work into the gap and i'm gonna keep continuing this pattern until I get the length of the sleeve that I want and I'll let you guys know how many rows I end up doing. I had to like take my shirt off, but I did three rows as you can see. Or did I do four? No, I did three. I did three rows and I like the way this fits me. So I'm gonna stop here and then we're gonna go with single crochets all the way around the bottom of the sleeve. So I did three rows, which was perfect for me. Now I'm going to work single crochets along the bottom of the sleeves. So one into the gap, one into the stitch, one into the gap, one into the stitch, all the way around. And this just creates a cleaner edge. And I'm gonna chain one, cut my yarn, leave a bit of a tail for weaving in. And then I'm just gonna redo this entire process on the other side of the top. Okay, so we're done with the base of our top. So chain 180 chains. To 980, all right. So I chained my 180 chains. You're going to basically weave this through the holes that go in the back. So you would hold the top against you and then weave these through the holes that we made and tie it. Cause y'all get so mad at me when I don't show this part. Like this. And don't forget your chain 80 that we had down here. Like this. And yeah, that's how you crochet this top. Now we're gonna take our darning needle and sew in all of these loose ends because there are quite a few. You're just gonna go 
from your tops of random stitches. Pull your yarn through and cut it. And there we go. There is the very top. So pretty. Pretty. Let's give her a try on. This is the final result. I could not be happier. I love the way this top looks. It's like so princess. Like it's so pretty. Sorry about the under boob. I made the, 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 the thing a little small. But back. I made um, mine a little bit less backy or a little bit more backy than my other one. My other one had more back, but that's because I made this uh, initial chain longer than I did on this top. But yes, is it a pity? Let me pose for a thumbnail. Like, I love it. Oh, good. But yeah, here's the little Vera princess top. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Cure that outro or whatever. All right, that's the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you have a really cute little Vera top. And if you do make this top, tag me so I can see. Feel free to, like, if you guys want to sell the top, go ahead and sell it. You don't have to ask me. You guys can sell it on whatever platform you want to sell it on and make it cute for your customers or whatever but yeah that's it for today's video um comment what you guys like want me to start posting because since i will be posting more regularly i i'm like gonna run out of tutorials so if you guys like want vlogs or i don't know routines like anything you want just comment and i'll get it done but yeah just comment what you guys want to see uh, different tutorials, different vlogs, different uh, routines, different unboxings, whatever people post on YouTube, just let me know if you want it and I will post it because I'm a YouTuber now. Yeah, yeah, I'm a YouTuber now. I don't know if you guys got the memo. I'm a YouTuber now. That's why I love you so much. And yeah, that's it. Let me know. I like, I need a name for you. Okay, never mind. Okay, bye guys. Bye guys. I love you. Real do do do, yelling out.